Hey everybody, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I am one of the senior editors at MyJo in Toronto, and I am back again with another quick tip for all of you Avid Media Composer users out there. I'm just going to command tab into Avid's Media Composer. Now you can see that I have my edit window up in front of me and you're going to notice that I have my toolbar tailored to how I like to edit. And you're going to notice that in some cases there might be some very strange icons underneath your edit windows. For example, like this one here, and you can see that this button is set to batch import. But that's kind of odd because normally what you have to do is you have to navigate up the clip and come down to batch import to batch import elements into your projects. Well, you know what? This is another great feature of Avid's Media Composer. You can map menu commands onto buttons just below your edit window. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to do right now. So let's just say for argument's sake, you wanted to map one of the tools onto your toolbar. Let's use calculator for an example. So let's say we're going to map it right beside batch import right here. Now how you do it is actually very simple. If you're familiar with how to customize your keyboard and your button layout, it's just as simple. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate up to tools and I'm going to navigate down to the command palette. Now most people are familiar with the command palette because what you can do is you can take button commands such as go to in and you can simply take it and drag it over here into your edit window and map it to whatever one of the buttons you want. Well, if you take a look along the bottom, you'll see that you have a button to button reassignment, an active palette, and a menu to button reassignment. Well, what we want to do is we want to map menu commands to buttons. So what I'm going to do is simply select menu to button reassignment, and then I'm going to select the button that I want to have a menu command map to. And I know that it's this button right here. So I'm just going to click on the button. I'm going to navigate back up to tools. I'm going to come down to calculator. And as soon as I click on it, you can see the calculator is now mapped onto the button inside my edit window. Now if I want to call up the calculator, all I have to do is simply navigate over, click on the button, and there it is. I don't even need to go up to the tools drop down to get to it. So I hope this quick tip has shown you how you can now get in and customize your edit window even more to help speed up your workflow. So if you have any quick tips or any comments, feel free to send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.